fun? Now it's time to turn the heat up. What's up guys? Coaches just finished 18.2. Um, and we have some initial thoughts on how it went for them and some tips and strategies to help. <laughs> initial thoughts. Hey guys. All right, so um, my initial thoughts on the workout. Uh, the number one thing that I can point out, especially for the first piece, is very, very, very intense heavy breathing for me. Um, I'm gonna just give you guys my initial thoughts, how I felt, my personal strategy in the workout and um, then we'll talk about some tips and warm up after that. So just be mindful when I'm talking to you guys about my initial thoughts from the workout, those aren't necessarily uh, my tips and the strategy that I'm going to give you guys. I just want to give everyone some insight into how I attacked it, what I would have done differently, and yeah, how I felt. Hopefully most of them are fitter than you or me. Yeah, if so you're... This, yeah, this may not apply to you, but it's just our initial... Unless you, <laughs> unless you're watching the video, then I... Yeah. Anyways. Um, so heavy breathing, first and foremost, uh, is how I felt. I did it with Danielle as my judge, and the best thing that she did for me was reminding me to stay calm. Uh, I purposefully paced the whole thing until the set uh, of nine going into 10. Um, and with that being said, with my level of fitness, I still felt uh, it, it, it was a very heavy breathing workout. Secondly, um, it was obviously a lot of very high contraction, not high volume, but it was high contraction, very fast squats. Um, I am a high volume squatter. I squat very well. So that's where I chose to be aggressive while still uh, controlling my breathing, right? Um, so to be honest with you, my legs were not that bad. With that being said, it took me eight minutes. I'm not as fit as the, the two gentlemen who did 18.2 or as many of my athletes. So it took me eight minutes and I did not pay for it in the squats. It was all burpees for me personally. Um, as far as like how I felt physically as well, uh, I'll, the, the workout for me has a lot of hinging of the hip. So my lower back, not so much during the workout, but right now I definitely feel like uh, my lower back is fatigued. Um, also, like I said previously, I pushed heavy on the sets of 9 to 10 only. Um, and I'll close by saying this. My first clean was a lot heavier than I thought. I did not have a ton of time left over, so I didn't have a lot of time to recover like some of the other guys did. So I was very aggressive from the start, and I took three attempts in the first two minutes or so. So I have some thoughts on that. We'll get to the clean later. Um, but just some tips for everyone going into this. Uh, I think the biggest thing, like you said, was breathing, breathing, breathing. Finding a good rhythm in your movements and figuring out how you're gonna breathe on your squats and burpees is huge. Um, for a lot of you guys, burpees will change in speed from when you start to that round of nine or 10 and you need to be able to adjust your breathing throughout it. If you can't keep a good rhythm on that, you're really gonna suffer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I also think a big part of your rhythm is going to be your squats as well. Uh, you don't want to be the kind of person that is squatting faster than you breathe or vice versa. You want your breathing to dictate the tempo of your squats. So those are two things that you're going to have to absolutely play with during the warm-up. Uh, burpees shouldn't be a problem for any of you guys at this point, especially this volume of burpees. Um, but those squats may. Uh, we've done them in the past, however, uh, Again, just like the last workout, Castro, it seems like, is going to give us uh, new movements, or at least new movement patterns every single workout. It's going to be about rhythm with a new exercise. Yeah. It's not terribly complicated, but you have to be rhythmic. Right. Okay. Setup is going to be huge. Mm -hmm. Knowing where your dumbbells are, um, approaching them the same way. Are you going to bring them up from in between your legs? Or are you going to have the dumbbells outside your legs? Where are you going to place them on your shoulders? Um, if you're a bigger guy that has a tighter front rack, are you going to put them further back? Some of you guys may be able to rest them on the shoulders. Whatever is most comfortable for you and allows you to get in and out of that position uh, fast is gonna work, but you gotta be um, very confident with it and be able to maintain it throughout the workout. Right, so my first thought was I was gonna try, because the standard says that there's no uh, rule as far way. as hand placement goes. The, the, just the dumbbells have to be in or above the shoulder, yeah. I believe. Uh, so what I my first thought was I was going to do them with my hands off then I started playing with it in warm-up I realized that my cycle time off was going to be Really tough to keep a solid pace by not having my hands well, on the handle the and dumbbell. they're gonna come down and go all over the place Absolutely, so even though it would 
for me, have been easier to let go of the dumbbells. I kept them on the whole time, and honestly, I squatted so fast that I really, it did not fatigue me at all. It was yeah. not an issue. Yeah, it, it's as far what, as my hand placement It's was. what you're comfortable with and what you can control in and out of that position. If you can't control the dumbbells down and they're flying, it's probably not the best way to do it. Um, as you saw from the video, uh, you know, uh, I believe Patrick Vellner got some no reps towards the end and cost him the workout. The new burpee standard is different. Um, so be mindful of that. Communicate to your judge how you want them to count, uh, how you want them to know rep you. That conversation needs to be had prior to the workout starting. All right, um, the last thing I'll say as far as tips go before we talk about the warm up and clean specifically is everyone's gonna need to pick where they make their money, so to speak. Is it going to be on the squat? Is it going to be on the burpee? Once you determine that, then you need to look at both pieces, both workouts. Yeah. Is it going to be on the clean or is it going to be on the first piece of the workout? I'll tell you right now, we have some, some individuals that are not quite as strong that we're probably gonna recommend that they kill themselves mm -hmm. and they sprint hard as hell on the first piece to get a top, top, top solid score and they're gonna have more time to recover after that for the clean. Yeah, That's not going to be the case for everybody. I think that our best results will be for people who have good even scores amongst both, good cleaners are very fast and efficient. Those will be the most fit. However, uh, again, you gotta pick where you're gonna make your money. Yeah. All, right, all right, so moving on to warm up. Um, why don't you take the first piece of the warm up? Um, so we're gonna recommend you guys do something a little intense to get your heart rate really high. At some point during that first piece, your heart rate is gonna get super jacked up. You should play with that a little bit. Yeah, you should have that adaptation pattern yeah. already set up. So probably some assault bike sprints is what we're gonna do to warm up. Could be assault bike sprints, could be on uh, on the ski erg after yeah. warming up because of all the hip hinging would, right. would be very appropriate. Yeah, but either way, we are gonna do some sort of warm up that gets your heart rate really high. Yeah, um, playing with the rhythm on the squat and the burpees would be very important. Thinking about uh, dumbbell placement, we talked about this in the last workout, especially on my Facebook post. And yeah. Learning your rhythm of preference. I can't say there's a right or wrong, but there definitely is a right or wrong. Right, for you. exactly. And it, it, it is going to be athlete dependent. We were just talking about this. 50 pound dumbbells is 100 pounds. That's going to be just under half your body weight. Yep. For some girls, that 70 pound is it's gonna actually be, half my body weight. Depending close, on the day. whatever. <laughs> for some girls, that 70 pounds is going to end up being. 50 to 55 percent of their body weight right yeah. it's going to be a different workout 55 squats at 45 percent versus 55 percent it's, a, it's different, huge difference right so you're going to have to find your rhythm and it's going to be athlete dependent okay um let me say this as well uh lower back like i said lower back and squatting so we'll probably put some goblet squats in there for you folks we'll definitely put some bird dogs some side planks etc cetera, etc cetera, to uh warm warm up the lower back um let's uh again move on to the clean yeah. so uh, the clean, we're going to probably have people warm up very close to, if not to their daily minimum, which should sit somewhere between 85 and 90%. Yeah. So you, you guys have all been doing this. We've been hitting daily minimums for a long time. If you've been following the blog, you've had experience working up to a heavy single clean or snatch under a bunch of different circumstances. You should know how this is going to feel. You should know what to expect, and you should know what you're capable of with a high level of confidence. Yeah, most importantly, what he said at the end is you have to be confident. And if you've been following our program for a considerable amount of time, you're definitely confident yeah. going into this effort. Um, it's going to be de dependent on how much time each individual has remaining. Right. So um, if you have a lot of time remaining, your jumps are going to be very different. I heard a lot of people in the gym going, wow, why is Noah opening up so light at 225? Well, the fucking kid finished Watch it in four time. minutes. Yeah. Uh, it's very different than someone like me who finished it in, in eight minutes. Right, right. Yeah, if you crush the first part, you are going to have to open a lot uh, lighter. And that weight probably, either way, is still going to feel heavy. Um, it, will, it will probably feel heavier than it did for me. Yeah, and again, like, like you said, it felt heavy for you, but to everyone watching, it didn't look heavy. Right? Yeah. It's going to feel heavy coming off of that. You've just done seven, eight minutes of work and you haven't touched the barbell in ten minutes. It's going to feel heavy. You guys should be confident in your daily minimum. Yeah. Okay? Keep that confidence going I, in. As as poor as my first score was, my second score was 335, um, which is, sorry, 325, which is just 10 pounds under my best clean. And I did them all as powers. Uh, so take that into consideration. It's going to feel heavy, but, uh, you know, it, everyone watching said it looked quite easy. Um, you know, I just couldn't be. <laughs> so, all right, th that's it. That's all we got. Anything yeah. else? Uh, no. Cool. Good luck. Post your times. Look forward to hearing from you guys.